Now you all know that I normally use the Tarte Brow Sketch and Set because I have very thin, sparse brows and it's a tinted gel that makes the brows look thicker, it shapes them and adds some pigment. But sometimes I want something that's a little lighter and more natural looking. So I've been reaching for the NYX, the brow glue. This is the color black. It just doesn't deposit too much color, which is really nice. And I like to lightly work upward and then I work in the opposite direction to stain the skin underneath. And then I will go back in and lift. Come in here to show you guys a little more detail. All right, we have lifted and stained the brows. Let's go in with our brow sheet by Charlotte Tilbury. I like this because it is a small angle tip. It has the wax, so it helps with staying on all day. We're gonna go ahead and take this and just work in small little flicks of the wrist into that brow hair, creating the illusion of more hair. Just think A to B, B to C, and then just lightly fill it in. We have here Myth and we have here Muse. Now this one has a little bit of warmth to it, but it's truly more of a pink, cool, leaning eyeshadow palette. And this is a truly cool eyeshadow palette with all the purples. So let's go ahead and get started in a fun, bright, sexy, sultry, lifted eye look. I'm gonna grab a fluffy domed brush. This is the KJH number 11. I live for these brushes. The Spectrum Sculpt brushes and the KJH brushes are by far my favorites. And so this one is the one we're gonna start off with today. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this color here, which is a soft rose and a little bit of this one as well. Mixing those two together because I want to use this color to create shape with my eye. So you always wanna use your mid-tone color, which is the one that's not too dark, it's not too light, it's in the middle, and preferably in matte because that will help to shape the eye out first and give you a direction of where you're going with your eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly place this all over the lid and pull up and outward because remember we're trying to do a lift so everything's gonna come in this direction. And I like to go a little out towards the temple even, letting the color gradate to the outer edge creating a sfumato look, which means smoky. It's kind of a hazy look so that there's no hard lines. And I'll tell you a makeup artist tip, be purposeful with your line work. And what I mean by that is you don't want a bunch of hard lines on the face. Even your eyeliner you're gonna see, it's gonna have a line of definition, but we're gonna soften it by going back over with some powder on top of it so that it doesn't look harsh. All right, so as you can see, we've added some shape to the eye. We've gone all the way to the brow bone, and that is from a dark, a medium to light. And the reason we do that is that there's no hard lines. There's none of that blocked eye shadow that unfortunately could be very harsh looking and it could be very aging. Now I'm pro aging, but you guys know what I mean, where it actually doesn't look pretty. It just looks harsh. I'm going to grab the shimmer here and you can mix one or two colors up to you. I always like to mix a little bit of colors together. I find it creates a fuller look that way. And I'm going to just tap it on the center of the lid and bring it to the inner corner. Just want a little twinkle. And as you can see, these are shimmers and they are not over the top. All right, from there, pick any gray that you may have. I'm gonna use this one up here. It's kind of a plummy gray color. And I'm gonna grab a thin, flat brush. And this is the KJH number 12. I'm going to place that around the eye. Using Endless Cacao, I'm just placing this on the upper lash line little darker on the outer corner, and then just bringing it into the center. Work in sections, work down, then work on the arch, and then work on the inner corner. Now I'm going in thicker on the outer corner because we're doing a lift. And I'm going to focus on creating or blocking out lightly that shape. I'm gonna go underneath really close to the lash line now and add some definition on the lower outer half. And we don't wanna have that harsh line sitting there, so I'm gonna go in now with our first color that we laid down and put this right on top. 
doing a bit of a V here, blending this shape so that's not one hard line. So hopefully you're seeing this becoming a softer, more blurred line out here. It's almost like creating a shadow or a haze. Now just adding a bit of shimmer to the center. And we'll add a very little bit the brow bone. So let's go in and add a little bit of light to the inner corner here in a C shape. We have this point of light, this point, and this point, which kind of creates a bit of a triangle. This is hands down my favorite eyelash curler that I've ever owned. This is the Chanel eyelash curler. Now I like to use individuals and place them underneath my lash line, but you want to keep it as close to your hair lash line as possible. Don't go inward, go towards the hair. And make sure you wash the glue off really well at the end of the night. You want to soak your lashes in an eye makeup remover, place, and then gently pull, and then take some warm water and work the lash line. A Q-tip's a great way to make sure you get all the glue off. But I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of these to the outer edge to focus on that outer corner to create that lift or emphasize the lift that we have put down. Lashes on. See what a difference it makes to have some lashes from the midpoint out, especially gradate them. This is a medium and then two long lashes at the end. And then I leave it here with nothing so that way I could blend in the small part of my lashes to the medium. So small, medium, long. We have the shadow done, but I'm going to go ahead and go with foundation and concealer to further lift. So I'm using the Chanel Sublimage. You don't want to put your fingers in pots ever, so grab just a little bit of the concealer with the back of the clean brush. And then I like to work off the back of my hand and adding a little extra lift here because when you put dark against light the color proximity helps to lift even further i'm going to now use a pump of the nars salzburg color in sheer glow So here we have our lifted eye look. Look at the difference between this one that works downward and this moving up. Makeup, amazing. All right, I'm gonna use the same color palette here, mix these two together. This is the color Muse. And you guys know that I like to use my products in several ways. So I'm gonna go in now and add a couple little flicks on the middle part of the cheek. All right, I'm gonna go in with this light shimmer very, very lightly. I don't want much. Just place a little bit right underneath here to add a little bit of a lift. If you have deeper set lines and wrinkles, you could skip that part if you don't want to emphasize any texture. Little over the nose. Just a very little to catch a little bit of light. And always I like to put a little bit on the ears. As you can see, I grab that high point. I'm going to use my current favorite. It's the Wherever Walnut Makeup Forever Artist Pencil and the Dior Lip Glow Oil in 07. Oh, the compliments you will get when you wear this color combination. All right, I'm going to do this eye and you'll see the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to support the content, all you need to do is subscribe, use the affiliate links down below, hit that thumbs up, and leave me a comment. If you haven't had enough, head over to TikTok or to Instagram. That will be in the description box below. And if you want to book me for a one-on-one -on -one artistry lesson, you can head to shrevoyage.com. As always, continue to take care of yourself and each other.